Today we have lesson 158. Today I learned to give as I receive. What has been given you? The knowledge that you are a mind, in mind, and purely mind, sinless forever, wholly unafraid, because you were created out of love. Nor have you left your source, remaining as you were created. This was given you as knowledge which you cannot lose. It was given as well to every living thing, for by that knowledge only does it live. You have received all this. No one who walks the world but has received it. It is not this knowledge which you give, for that is what creation gave. All this cannot be learned. What then are you to learn to give today? Our lesson yesterday evoked a theme found early in the text. Experience cannot be shared directly in the way that vision can. The revelation that the Father and the Son are one will come in time to every mind. Yet is that time determined by the mind itself, not taught? The time is set already. It appears to be quite arbitrary, yet there is no step along the road that anyone takes but by chance. It has already been taken by him, although he has not yet embarked on it. For time but seems to go in one direction. We but undertake a journey that is over, yet it seems to have a future still unknown to us. Time is a trick, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion in which figures come and go as if by magic. Yet there is a plan behind appearances that does not change. The script is written. When experience will come to end your doubting has been set. For we but see the journey from the point at which it ended, looking back on it, imagining we make it once again, reviewing mentally what has gone by. So this whole section is such a good description of time. It's probably worth being reviewed a few times today. It helps us to step out of the linear perspective of time. To realize it's all complete. We don't have to worry about how it's going to unfold. He goes on to say, a teacher does not give experience because he did not learn it. It revealed itself to him at its appointed time. But vision is his gift. This he can give directly, for Christ's knowledge is not lost because he has a vision he can give to anyone who asks. The Father's will and his are joined in knowledge, yet there is a vision in which the Holy Spirit sees because the mind of Christ beholds it too. Here is the joining of the world of doubt and shadows made with the intangible. Here is a quiet place within the world made holy by forgiveness and by love. Here are all contradictions reconciled, for here the journey ends. Experience, unlearned, untaught, unseen, is merely there. Here are all contradictions reconciled, 
for here the journey ends. Experience unlearned, untaught, unseen is merely there. This is beyond our goal, for it transcends what needs to be accomplished. Our concern is with Christ's vision. This we can attain. Christ's vision has one law. It does not look upon a body and mistake it for the Son whom God created. It beholds a light beyond the body, an idea beyond what can be touched, a purity undimmed by errors, pitiful mistakes, and fearful thoughts of guilt from dreams of sin. It sees no separation, and it looks on everyone, on every circumstance, all happenings, and all events, without the slightest fading of the light it sees. This can be taught and must be taught by all who would achieve it. It requires but the recognition that the world cannot give anything that faintly can compare with this in value, nor set up a goal that does not merely disappear when this has been perceived. And this you give today. See no one as a body. Greet him as the Son of God he is, acknowledging that he is one with you in holiness. Thus are his sins forgiven him, for Christ has vision that has power to overlook them all. In his forgiveness are they gone. Unseen by one, they merely disappear because a vision of the holiness that lies beyond them comes to take their place. It matters not what form they took, nor how enormous they, they appeared to be, nor who seemed to be hurt by them. They are no more. And all effects they seem to have are gone with them, undone and never to be done. Thus do you learn to give as you receive, and thus Christ's vision looks on you as well. This lesson is not difficult to learn if you remember in your brother you but see yourself. If he be lost in sin, so must you be. If you see light in him, your sins have been forgiven by yourself. Each brother whom you meet today provides another chance to let Christ's vision shine on you and offer you the peace of God. It matters not when revelation comes, for that is not of time. Yet time has still one gift to give, in which true knowledge is reflected in a way so accurate its image shares its unseen holiness, its likeness shines with its immortal love. We practice seeing with the eyes of Christ today, and by the holy gifts we give, Christ's vision looks upon ourselves as well. Today I learn to give as I receive. Time has one more gift to give. That is for us to practice seeing the Christ. Practice to not see bodies today is part of the lesson. That's the gift time has to give. When we realize that time is over. When we realize that we, there is not one step that is taken by chance. There is not one step that is random. Although they all seem to be, they all seem to be random, seem to be able to make decisions and do this or that. But not one. 
is random because it is over. So that is a very, very restful place. Really lovely. So we can be with that for a bit. So what has been given to you is the knowledge that you are mind. The knowledge that you are mind, you can stay in meditation if you like. That you're in mind and purely mind. Sinless forever, wholly unafraid, because you were created out of love. This knowledge has been given you, nor have you left your source, remaining as you were created. This knowledge you cannot lose. And this was given to every living thing. For by that knowledge only does it live. This has been given you. You have not made this up. And today, Today I learn to give as I receive. So today we learn to give this knowledge that you're only mind and that you're purely mind, that you're sinless forever that you're wholly unafraid because you were created out of love. There is nothing to fear when you know you were created out of love. If you were created out of hate or out of sin, there would be something to fear. And that's what any fear is about. It's the belief that you were, that you are something that you're not. That's the only source of any fear. But actually the, the knowledge has been given that you are mind and that you were created out of love. And if that was given you, there is a way of accessing that experience. There is an easy way to access it. It's not far away at all. So today we just practice to be open to that experience. Because you have received it. It's not a joke. No one who walks the world but has received it. Everyone has received it. It is not this knowledge which you give, for that is what creation gave. All this cannot be learned, because it's natural, because it's already there. What then are you to learn to give you? today. Our lesson yesterday evoked a theme found early in the text. Experience cannot be shared directly in the way that vision can. The revelation that the Father and the Son are one will come in time to every mind, yet is that time determined by the mind itself, not taught.
Yeah, he's saying it's the vision that you share. Vision is what you teach. And that's pretty obvious, because the way you see things is the way you, you teach. It's the way you, whatever, however you see things is what is taught through you. And so vision, if you have vision, vision is taught through you. The undoing of time. And time is set already. Time seems to be quite arbitrary. Yet there is no step along the road that anyone takes but by chance. There is no step that is by chance. Because it has already been taken. The step has already been taken, although you have not yet embarked on it. <laughs> the time but it seems to go in one direction. We but undertake a journey that is over, yet it seems to have a future still unknown to us. Time is a trick. So just, if this seems difficult to practice, you can just be willing to practice it and offer your willingness to the Holy Spirit. Just to say, I want to practice to see no one as a body. Greet everyone as the Son of God. Acknowledging that he or she is one with you in holiness. Thus are his sins forgiven him. Christ has a vision that has power to overlook them all. In his forgiveness are they gone. Unseen by one, they merely disappear because the vision of the holiness that lies beyond them comes to take their place. It matters not what form they took, nor how enormous they appear to be, nor who seemed to be hurt by them. They are no more. And all effects they seem to have are gone with them, undone and never to be done. That's how it goes. You see another as the Christ and all sins, all hurts and all problems or mistakes are gone in that experience. Thus do you learn how to give as you receive. Thus Christ's vision looks on you as well. This lesson is not difficult to learn. If you remember in your brother, you but see yourself. If he be lost in sin, so must you be. If you see light in him, your sins have been forgiven by yourself. Each brother whom you meet today provides another chance to let Christ's vision shine on you and offer you the peace of God. It's a wonderful lesson to practice. You can express if, if you like. So there, would you like to share? Practice all the time. I want to say when someone shares, 
Just uh, stay within. It's your mind. It's not entertainment. It's not somebody else's stuff. Always watch your mind. Yeah, go ahead, Sally. Yeah, I just be to express I feel I this intense on what I hear today that's today's lesson and I hear you talking. I can feel I'm really irritated, itching everywhere, the flash everywhere. And I'm I'm not watching the closing down the systems persist all this. I kind of panic after having this experience today because feeling so open. Yeah, and then you try again, Solvay. You try again. And you notice that feeling of resistance or annoyance. This is the mind training to just try again. To be willing to see things differently. There's a lot of comparison now. Just seeing the pictures of you in the car yesterday on on Facebook, I got just flushed up with jealousy and hmm. yeah, just feeling stuck. It just come up, comes up a lot. And I guess <laughs> you guys coming here and being so close, it just flash up everything. And you think all this unworthiness and a big part of things. Trying to figure out how to be. Yeah, maybe this is a phase of, um, this is a good time to face this. <laughs> to taste it. To face this, you know, the, the belief that you're apart. You know, we're so close and yet it's so complicated, seemingly, to be in the same. So it's, a, it's really a time to face the belief in yeah, it's separation because bodies are apart, like that belief. And to see what gets flushed up when you see the picture of us in the car, them in the car, like that. Yeah, somehow the ego makes, the ego saw it, and the ego said, You're outside, I'm not part of the joy. But you could ask, how the Holy Spirit sees it. When you notice that, you could have as a practice. But how do you see it, Holy Spirit? Show me, or give me the experience of what, what this truly means, what this truly is. And you can do so with everything, with the flies, with the cat, with whatever annoys you, you can, Say, oh, I must have seen this with the ego. How do you see this, Holy Spirit? 
and don't give up until you feel the answer. Because I think this is a phase, because there is a, a goal or um, there is the idea of us being together in the same place, all of us. So, so this must be just a, since time is, you know, since everything is perfect, every step perfect. This is just a time of facing something, letting it come up, seeing it, as if there could be something good that is not available for you, that is close but not there, you know, as if that would be possible. I think that is, that is hell and that is the, that's what the ego is. It's making something, you know, good to be outside and, and unaccessible. That's what time is. That's what the ego's use of time is. So the emotions that comes up are so intense, I guess I'm scared of them. And I'm so used to shutting it up down. Like, that yeah. this is not acceptable. Well, let's solve it. Yeah. yeah. So let's say instead they are acceptable, they are seen. Those emotions. Because you have, you say almost like you have a habit of pushing them down, saying they are not acceptable, but they are very real. And if you push down something that's real and it's sitting there underneath, it's, it's running your consciousness, it's not good. So let's say it's acceptable. Let's say we just accept whatever it is. Calmly, calmly accept. And we do it again, if it's coming something again. <laughs> we can't say it's unacceptable, then you build a little trap for your mind and you feel very imprisoned. But say, okay, I accept that I feel this way. I invite Holy Spirit to be with me. Yeah, I actually experienced that with, with Peter, being more acceptable, accepting the, and allowing it, and not judging mm. the emotions that come up in the situation. And, um, yeah, wow, well, yeah, see, with you guys, it's <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> and it's suddenly not acceptable again. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's very helpful to practice. Like, when you go on Facebook, who do you join with? Do you join with the ego or the Holy Spirit? <laughs> and with everything you do, because otherwise you will see images of, you will see evidence. You will see evidence for whatever guide you choose. You choose the egoist guide, you will see the evidence that things are not good at all, <laughs> that you are alone. But to practice, okay, I want to do everything with the Holy Spirit. I want everything to be a reason for me to feel peace of mind.
Thanks for letting us join with you. I, I'm really loving this lesson. I, uh, we spoke in bed um, about trappedness, but it was. I feel more. I feel more inspired now, and you know, there's just that. We talk, I was talking about you know, when, when somehow I'm just coming from a routine as opposed to in the moment and in the flow. That feels like the trackness. Mm -hmm. and, and that can even be in the, very much in the spiritual world, but, but just somehow being caught and focusing on over focusing on healing if you like oh. yeah yeah and just and I, I, I that conversation we had had earlier was really helpful and i know that solvay is also shifting we sh we are shifting the expression of that was that film about the rain, race force and the the owner, the, the jockey, the trainer, the horse itself, all being battered by life. And someone's criticizing the horse because it's small. But it, it, this is a r real horse that happened in the 30s. It's a good film. And the jockey just says, he may be small, but he is mighty. And, and he, he was the best horse around. And he was known as the people's horse because during the Depression. And that just came so strongly in my mind um, while we were meditating. And I thought, we may be slow, but we are mighty. <laughs> <laughs> we may be slow today. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> to move a little closer. <laughs> so, and I, and this, I thought about you know, maybe offerings I said to you about meditation, and I just, this made it so clear it what you can teach and what you can't. Mm -hmm. And it's not even really teaching, it's just guiding possibility, really. Yeah. And showing, just showing some of the steps of the way. And yeah. I, 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 I get this lesson. I mean, I know I don't get it as deeply as I could, but I get it. I'm getting it right now. I, I can feel I get it. And I was looking at you, and it felt almost unbearable, Jenny. It's just that the sense of love. <laughs> um, you know, and I know it, and I could feel it really wasn't you. And... So it says, as you know, this lesson's inviting us to not see the form. And you, and you spoke to me about that whenever it was, when we were there, about what I wanted from you, but it, it felt, it feels hard to speak about it, but it, I can feel flattening it down a little each time I speak about the light. It's still the unworthiness again coming up, but it's exciting as well. Yeah, you can't, yeah. You can't really 
um, affect the light. You know, you don't need to worry. Yeah, but it's unworthiness. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, so I may be slow, but I am mighty. Yeah. That, that, that really is. I am quite thorough. I'm a thorough person. I don't want to go down yeah. any more cul-de-sacs. I've been down so many this life. I just don't want to do that again. So I'm going to really make sure what doesn't work and what works. Yeah, like. that's beautiful. That reminds me of when we drove to you and when we drove back. When we drove to you, there was this is a very nice wide road, you know, nice easy road to go to your to your place, and then there is a cul de sac, and we were like, but said I wonder if that's the way, but then we saw it was, it was a dead end. We saw the sign, so we didn't take it. You know. We did that on the way to you. We went down the dead end, <laughs> another road. Which was really, I mean, thank God Malou was speaking about what she loved because this road was like really narrow and winding and steep with no protection down the side. And the one we came up had all the protection as well. And I was, I was in the back and I, I just, I was, I was glad she was just yeah. flowing. Yeah. Because it, it, I was a little fearful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we took, I think Grace and I were led on that road with the GPS and, and she said, if this is the last moment, yes, I'm glad I'm with Jenny or something like that. <laughs> 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 because she saw no, like you described it, that was not, <laughs> yeah, she couldn't see the road in front of us. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> sometimes it is, yeah, sometimes that's how life feels. Yeah. It's such a fine line and, and both are helpful, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And, and the, the cat was so loving uh, just at the beginning with Solvay or before. Speaking, I mean, she couldn't get close enough to Solvay. She just like wanted to burrow inside of her, uh, and she, her face was just a sheer kind of um, almost orgasmic delight. Really, um, <laughs> just uh, the timing of it was just, and and actually, she was touching both of us. Was and it feels so symbolic about our resistance to her at the same time wanting to open and she's a kitten and she's she's a pain in the ass she's always standing in your way and and um you know she scratches and she attacks and she's, you know, she's starving and she meows and and but she's just adorable as well and, and just really beautiful and just the love is there, and yeah, mm. and it just it reminds me of my resistance around my cat, and so which I had for a very long time, <laughs> been dead ten years now, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just keep seeing this slide in front of me here. I'm looking at time is a trick. Heard David said a lot, a sleight of hand, a vast illusion in which figures come and go as if by magic. Yeah, it's, I can, f I feel the freedom of that, and then there's, there's, there's a bit of a panic sometimes, <laughs> like. Will I just be floating around somewhere? Well, I think that is about, you know, there is a transition that is very harmonious. Where time is just for, for peace of mind. Right, okay. At this moment, it feels absolutely okay. 
<laughs> you know, it does. And, and I'm excited, yeah. inspired. And um, but I do, uh, yeah, I can feel the fear, but uh, I feel grateful. I feel grateful to you um, as being that um, portal, really, a portal into love. And, and then I feel grateful to all of you, I feel grateful to Barrett. And I love you, I love your way of teaching Barrett. Just think of it. It's different, but I love it. And, and it's a way that I, I, it's a bit more easy for me that kind of, to relate to at times. So, um, but yeah, and I just, right now, I just loving Solvay and the community. You can smile, Matthew. <laughs> I'm just, I'm teasing. <laughs> Can you see my face from there? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, can you see my face from there? <laughs> oh, oh, just. But I can now, you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick up if you're smiling or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. get the white, the white teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really loving Laurie and Gareth. I'm just looking, I just, somehow it's connection with the past as well, somehow. And I don't know, it's just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's past life too, but it, it just feels. Yeah. Family. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I feel it too. I think I want to say I feel your, I feel Gareth's spirit now, but very, very um, directed, very beautiful. You're very strong, Gareth. Just follow. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of had an experience yesterday. It's been, I'd say, a tough week, tough couple of weeks. But we read the obstacles to peace. <clears throat> and Laurie was going to read it out loud, and for some reason she lost her voice. Hmm. So now I'll read it. Normally, when I read it, I kind of like mumble and. But as I was reading the obstacles to peace, it was like it was. It wasn't me who was reading them. I was reading it so clear, so precise, so so into reading these obstacles of peace. It was, it was, yeah, it was. I it was so powerful. It was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I'd read all these obstacles to peace, and then I grown about six inches when I stood up. It was, <laughs> It was like someone else was reading this. It wasn't my voice, normally. It was like a different voice. I want to record this. That's beautiful. <laughs> Recording in progress. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Wow. I feel that. I feel the. Uh, I get goosebumps when you share that. Yeah, it was kind of, I kind of had goosebumps when I was reading it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like a bit of that feeling when I was doing a rebirth and like you come outside of yourself and I was kind of looking at who, who's this reading this? <clears throat> so powerful. Hmm. It was kind of like, I wasn't looking at the words. Really, to read it, it was just coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like the words was coming before I even seen them. It was, it was, yeah, it was just... Yeah. And the spirit. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, they, they did feel amazing. It felt like it was the most powerful thing I'd ever read. Hmm. That's amazing. That's precious. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not like there's another person, someone named Helen Schuckman, who the book came through. It, it's come through you. It's a capital Y, you. Hmm. Yeah, it, was, it was so strong. And it, when I read it before, it's never felt so strong. It, it was like, it was, I can't even explain how, what it was like. It was, it's normally like reading a book and it doesn't sink in. But it was, it was just, it was just like nothing I've ever experienced before reading. Like clarity, like you were, you were the clarity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably the first time I thought it was like clarity and it was like so strong and so clear. And... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it feels so good. It feels, I feel it in my heart and I hear it in your voice too, even now. It's like, yeah, it's clarity, it's, yeah, like no, no more mumbling, <laughs> probably. Yeah, there's no mumbling, it's just strong and powerful. And yeah. <laughs> uh, precious, thank you. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, just wanted to put some on the altar as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's like the impending move to Malaga. The impending doom <laughs> of Malaga. <laughs> it sounded like that. Well, I can feel the anxiety building around it. And And it was just with Joseph yesterday. Like we did mention going out this weekend and he said he didn't want to come. But he, he, he's kind of said now he, he likes this school now. And he don't want to leave this school. It's just, yeah, just, I just want to release the guilt on that. Because it's kind of like something I didn't think I had to think about and release any guilt on. But it was more... It was more on convincing Ava. Now it feels like convincing Joe. But then I think it's more convincing myself. Mm -hmm. So I just wait to release the guilt on that. Like, yeah, it's just another, another opportunity to release some guilt on it. And it felt strong seeing it through Joe. Like, oh, yeah, I like this skill now. I don't want to leave this skill. It was like, oh. Yeah, yeah so I just want to put that on the altar and just release anxiety around that. Yeah. I mean, that's a familiar anxiety, probably, yeah. yeah. And that's all it is. It's a familiar anxiety and that seemed to get attached to this, this one now, to this mode now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just felt like all the thought that I know what's best for them is... Mm. It's that feeling that I think I know what's best for them. Mm. Or even Joe saying I like this skill now and him thinking he knows what's best for him. Mm -hmm. Just to probably let go of that yeah. thought, feeling. Yeah. Yeah, thank God that he loves the school now. That it, That's very beautiful. And that's just a sign of... Because the ego is saying... Yeah, but now you have to stay there, and 
future is going to be dark otherwise, you know. But now, yeah, I want a future different from the past. You know, and, and it's about an experience of liking it that's going to grow and liking everything, you know, like feeling safe. I think all those moves that you are doing are like very healing. It's a healing process of like seemingly be unsettled in form to feel very safe in spirit. You know, I think, and your whole family is going through it together. It's, it's profound. Yeah, it probably feels like they don't enjoy it till it's being taken away. I want to lose that belief so I can enjoy it right now in the present moment. Mm -hmm. It's like as if it gets took away and yeah, then, then we know we enjoy it. Yeah. It seems to be reflected back from Job and I'm just starting just to be coming to the present moment and enjoy it now. It? Yeah. Yeah, and look at the belief in loss. Yeah. It's only the, the ego that believes in loss. Losing the good. Which is impossible. Because yeah. it comes from the mind. It doesn't come from the form. So it's very safe. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to settle in that very safeness. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's this, I think the guilt comes from believing it's personal, that you as persons make a decision. That's a very guilty, that's a very guilty experience. But when you follow the guidance, when you remember, you're just taking one step at a time, one step after the next, and you keep joining. It's not a personal path or it's not persons making decisions. That, and you're washing that personal perspective and, and washing the guilt at the same time. Yeah, I can, I can see how it, uh, see how it make it personal. Mm. It's a personal thing. Yeah. I can see how that's washed a bit. It has washed and washed, but yeah, it's still there. It's, mm. it's still there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I've got this feeling like, should I, should I speak? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking heavily at like the motivation for doing things and then I get all confused in my head about I want, I want a clear voice saying yes you need to share or yeah you know, I was feeling peaceful until Gareth started talking about school mm. yeah just right now recognising that yeah it's just guilt more guilt that needs to be released yeah. Not by, just not for what you said, you know, it's a habit. Yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. Anxiety wants to go and jump to something, but it's, it's not those things. It's, I've been doing instruments for peace a lot, and the stuff that comes up, and it's been so helpful. I noticed I was triggered a little bit when Peter made the comment like you can smile Matthew 
just and it wasn't mm. it didn't jump and grab me like it would have done in the past but it was still there the temptation like oh it's not you know it's not all right to be sad it's not okay even just to be neutral mm. it's not okay to feel it's still there like a bit like the unacceptable thing that we talked about earlier mm. yeah yeah and that's been coming up a lot strongly the experience of if i really step into the light same thing again i'm not buying the story in my head <laughs> but yeah if i really step into the light and let the miracles flow and just like it probably like the jesus story i will be hunted down i'll be outcast he already did that. <laughs> I'd be hated. Yeah, so that's the ego's interpretation of that story. Yeah. But I think that very feeling that is there, right there with you now, that anxiety that I'm wrong, I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, that is what you're you're facing, this, and you're sharing it now. Yeah. So we're witnessing it with you. Yeah, it's all day long. Mm. And then I read the lesson, that, not yesterday, the day before, I think, and it said it almost feels worse when the guilt is like fluttering around and it's looking for things to land on. And it can seem worse, you know. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking of the turkey pan. It gets worse, like, or a pan when you have baked or cooked something. David talks about the turkey pan and it's so messy and it's stuck all on the sides. And if you let it soak, it just gets worse. It looks worse. It doesn't get worse, but it looks worse because all the stuff gets loose and mixed in the water, so it gets brown and it gets worse in that sense, but it's because it's coming up, it's loosening. Yeah, and at the same time, I feel like my past is dissolving. It's, it's like a weird feeling. I, I felt prompted to, to get rid of all my journals. I had stacks of all my old journals, and as I'm ripping the pages out, I just... Yeah, this feeling like it was here this morning as well, kind of. It's kind of like a who am I feeling. Mm. Yeah, I think I wanted to ask about the lesson, if you could say something that would help me, because, yeah, I am going to pray on that. Like, show me how I can practice this. At the moment, it's like, even when Solvay was sharing, I tried to practice, this is, you know, what's being presented isn't who she is, she's not even she. Mm. But in my mind, it's like, all I can do is like, look, it's like we all dissolve and we're all pixelated. Mm. And like, we're all floating around somewhere above. <laughs> <laughs> and that's as far as I can get. <laughs> body fat, so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's okay to see the bodies. But the forgiveness is of the mind, is the prayer to see beyond the form, you know, to, to forgive whatever is triggering, like in the form of another body. So it feels like not paying so much attention to the words that are coming out of them or the actions or any of that stuff and just stepping back a bit. And... Yeah. Yeah, and if you are triggered by the words and the actions, which you, which is usually what it is, that, that's, yeah. To see, to, to pray for forgiveness, to, you know, ask to see differently. I want to see this brother differently. I want to release this 
you know, and this is what the expression session is so helpful for. Yeah, to release stuff, you know. It's probably the giving and receiving bit, because I find it helpful to have something like the instrument for peace, something to do. Yeah. And then I've done it that much over the past few days that it's almost like when I'm triggered, I can instantly see, like, oh, I'm, it's me that I'm blaming. Mm -hmm. Always. It's me that needs forgiving, you know. But just feel a bit like, oh, God, not again, I've got a gun. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. But whatever it is, you know, you're going through, just be gentle. Just be gentle and, and your willingness, like your desire to understand, to, to get the lesson and it will. That desire, I feel it from you very strongly. That's gonna pull the clarity to you. If it's just the time of, of releasing fear and worry and anxiety and the personal perspective. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. And finding the voice, finding the voice within. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to just put something around the altar. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to raise up, um, since Peter did make that comment, I have a feeling of just something is wrong. <clears throat> and this always, anytime someone comments on my, my mood in some way, or smiling, not smiling, or, you know, are you okay, or... I feel the same, I kind of react the same way, it's like, I was okay, now, now I'm not okay. This, you know, and how I just was, wasn't okay. Even if I felt okay in the moment. It, so I just wanna just raise that up and just let it go. Cause, yeah, I don't want it to matter really what anyone says, you know, I don't want it to f affect me. Hmm. So I just wanna let it go. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful opportunity. Is it? Yeah. You have been working on the healing of mm -hmm. how do I appear, appearance, and yeah. so he was just very helpful. Yeah. Just triggering that mm. concern. Yeah, you have the right to. You don't have to worry, like mm. whatever you just said there. I want to not be affected. I, if I feel good, I want to stay feeling good, no matter yeah. what somebody said. As just said, yeah, yeah, it's only a comment, but yeah. I wonder how does it, it... There's no point in asking these questions, but... Yeah, it, man, I'm just curious, got a little comment can mm. seem to... Right at the core, you know, right here is like... Now things are not okay, you know. Yeah. You can go from one to the other very quickly. You know? And it can only do that when you have an unforgiveness. When you are, mm. it's almost like a, I don't know, like vibing in the same wavelength as what is occurring outside. Like if, I don't know how to describe, like if something resonates in the same mm -hmm. mm. waves then you, you will react, you know, if you, mm. it's unhealed, it's something yeah. still. But if, mm. if, if you were at peace... It wouldn't affect me. No, you know, if you're at peace always mm. with your appearance or... So there is a forgiveness lesson around appearance. That, mm. So it's showing, the world is showing you, so Peter was showing you that by his yeah, comment, yeah. very innocently. He, he just invited you to smile and I feel like you have, like your brothers, you have a mirroring mm. often 
Yeah, I don't think he'd done anything wrong by mm. comment making. It felt very much in the flow, yeah. you know, and it did feel like a kind of an invite, yeah. just to join in the lightheartedness. Of, yeah. You know. Yeah. So there's yeah, still well, there. whatever it is, I want to heal that, yeah. that sudden, whatever it is. Yeah. There's the veil, and I think that it's the forgiveness opportunity. You guys have had this. You know, you have a power for love. You even experienced it in eye gazing. So it's like that was kind of like the establishment of it's safe to heal together. Mm -hmm. And now there is time of things getting triggered and flushed up and because there is an agreement to heal. It's good, yeah. Thank you for for the healing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, does anybody else you want to express? Are you Grace? Yeah, I feel everyone's sharing was for me. I, it's very helpful actually. Mm. Helping me um, tap into stuff that in, inside. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Maybe not right now, but it, it feels like uh, I am uh, I am still like processing what I heard in the session today. It's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's sharing, like it was for me. And your the feedback and everything. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Would you like to express anything? Just applies. Hmm. How cute they are. Yeah. <laughs> and asking them to see them differently. Hmm. But just during the meditation, I just got into some sort of stillness and they on my nose and it's like one of the find it. But yes, just I need to pick up it. Mm. Yeah. See if we can ask for a retranslation. Can that sensation of the fly help you to go within even more? Probably could. I can sense it is um, that it can for some people can use it that sensation actually to go deeper than I can understand it. Even sounds in the past when I could have gone, I went deeper in. But mm. this is a different animal, <laughs> so to speak. Just this, it's an annoying on your face feeling. It brings me right back. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Is there anything more before we sign off? Gareth? Okay. Love you guys.